Janet Wakelin with RemarkablyCreated.com. Today we're going to look at a really fun ornament project featuring these really cute acrylic light bulbs that I found at a local craft store. So let's go ahead and get started. Hold on as I rotate the camera just a little bit. Hopefully I don't make you too seasick. But what we're working with are these really, really cute little light bulbs that I found at our local craft store. They are acrylic, which uh, makes them really easy to work with and I don't have to worry about breaking them. And when I saw them, I thought of two things right away. You light up my life, and Jesus is the light of the world. And I thought it would be really fun to feature them on a Christmas tree. And we have a really small tree at our house this year, which is making it easy to decorate. And I was having fun theming it just a little bit. So look at, let's, blah, let's look together at some of the different ways that you could embellish this acrylic light bulb. As well as any other acrylic um, ornament that's out there. There's lots of fun different shapes and sizes that are out there on the marketplace. So what I have is I have some of our crystal effects, and I'm just going to pour it on a little piece of paper over in the corner. A couple different size paint brushes. I have our really fine silver powder. You could also work with dazzling diamonds or gold. But I am kind of doing a wintry theme so that I don't have to take it down right away in January. And I'm just going to go up here around the top just a little bit with it. And then I'm going to just take and bring it down kind of thinking kind of along the lines of like snow um, icicles and things like that. It's just snowed here on the East Coast. A lot of snow in our brains. A lot of us are thinking snow right now. And of course winter, no matter where you live, kind of always turns to snow. And then you want to just take and you just want to sprinkle that over. If you have something called an embossing buddy, um, you could rub your ornament first with that and that'll um, help keep powder off from wherever you want it to be. If not, you could also use something like a bounce dryer sheet, anything to prevent that anti-static. You just can tap off the little extra that you don't want. And then you just have the little pieces hanging right down and around. And then you could simply add some ribbon and we'll look at some of those in just a second. One of my favorite things to do is to take and use one of our sponge daubers and to put some of the crystal effects on it and then just start to press it on. I love polka dots. I just think polka dots are a happy kind of element and they just make you smile. It's hard to be sad around polka dots. And so we're just going to go ahead and add our polka dots. Let's just put one on the bottom for fun. Well, you know what? I can't tell exactly where all I've been, so let's just go ahead and add our glitter and we'll And you can see where we've started to add some fun little dots. Oops, we missed one right here on this side. Missed our bottom. And I can go back in now and I can add some more where I would like to fill them in. So that's definitely another option for you. This one here, I went ahead and I've got re-inker in it and glitter. And I'm going to be turning it upside down to let the extra that's in it spill out. But all I did with that one... And let me hang it back up on my little holder here for just a second. And let's just take one. And we'll take the top off. <laughs> it's got lots of glitter around it still. And we're going to take our re-inker. In this case, it's Coastal Cabana. And I'll put a couple of drops in here. And we're going to take a little bit of our Dazzling Diamonds glitter and put that inside as well. And then just something to hold over the top of it. Paper towel, tissue. And all you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and you're going to work and start to coat the inside of this. Just kind of working it around. And I can already see I'm going to need more re-inker in this one. But you just want to go ahead and coat it. You can also water your re-inker down if you would like with water. Obviously water it down. <laughs> it sounds kind of funny. Um, but you're going to water it down with water. Making it a little bit easier for it to mix around. And then you just want to start to coat it. You want to just start to let it swirl around inside. And then you would tip it inside once you've got it coated the whole way. Just tip it upside down and then let the ink start to run out of it like that. And you would just go ahead and have it. And it will be permanently colored for you. On this one I added a little bit of ribbon around the neck of it. A couple other fun things that you could do with them. This one here has some stripes on it and I filled it with our Coastal Cabana ribbon. This one here I didn't use any Dazzling Diamonds or our 
glitters, I used rhinestones instead all over them, and I just curled up a snowflake and put one of our glitter snowflakes on the inside. Another one, this one, I tipped just the bottom of it, so just the bottom of that one's done. This one here has a little bit of our silver ribbon on the inside of it. Let's grab another one of these here to work with. This one just has glitter around the top. And what I have is I have some 4-inch strips of paper and a bone folder. And I'm just going to go ahead and start to create some little paper curls. And I can go ahead and take the lid off of that and put that down inside. I'm going to be wearing glitter for days now, but that's always kind of fun. It's nice to sparkle in life. And let's just do a couple more of these so you get the idea. We'll put that up. up there. there we go. And two-sided paper is nice. We have um, this great Festive Flurries paper, which is kind of the design, the blues and silvers and wintry look I'm going for. And I'll have great photos of these on my blog as well as close-ups of the Christmas tree that they're on. But just adding Festive paper can fill it. And what's really kind of nice is with them being acrylic, I could always... Um, stick stickers on them as well too. Glue will stick really nice to them. And this is also because they're acrylic a great project to do with your young kids because you don't have to worry about them getting hurt by accidentally breaking glass or something like that. But I can just start to fill it with my paper and then I can go ahead and I can put my top back on it. And of course it's not going to go back on while I'm sitting here talking to you, is it? I also like these light bulbs because I grew up in a time when the light bulbs were these massively huge things on trees and it was always my job to check all of the connections and so that just kind of brought back some memories. So some fun little paper pieces in there. Now to show you one of the fun things that I did do with these, I did create one as a gift that says you light up my life. This is one of our window boxes and I simply took and I made a slit in the top so that the piece of top of the ornament would come out. I used some of our new metallic vellum paper had You Light Up My Life done um, in my digital studio and then just printed it. Have some of our um, Bermuda Bay paper, little buttons, some of our new baker's twine with the silver in it and a rhinestone. Used a snowflake as a little tab on my box. Oops, and of course now it's going to come off. I didn't want to seal it too tight because I, I wanted to be able to open it to show you. And then inside there's a light bulb and then there's some curly paper as a wrap around it. And again, the You Light Up My Life. So it's a fun little ornament to give to somebody, maybe as a teacher's gift last minute, Sunday school teacher, um, somebody else that just totally lightens up your life for you. And then for my tree, I think that every tree needs a banner. And I just want to show you real quick the banner that I made to go with the light bulbs. And literally, I worked off of the scraps that I had laying on my table. I did not reach far. Um, I did print... The words and let me just twist this around oops I guess maybe we want to go this way um, I did print the words Jesus is the light of the world and I punched holes on either end and strung the Baker's twine through it that has the silver metallic and then I just folded over a doily and I just grabbed pieces that I had on the table the only thing that I used um, was the doily and the vellum with the heart on it as kind of um, a unifying theme but then the rest of the little pieces I had scrap burlap I had scrap ribbon on that. I had a scrap little piece of cardstock that had been cut with a framelit and some of our baked brown sugar ribbon. I happened to have a little snowflake laying on my desk. And so I had this really fun banner then that I've created that's going to work as a garland on my tree. So I hope you stop by RemarkablyCreated.com to check out the tree and what it looks like in the ornaments close up. And I hope that you have fun making some last minute gifts for Christmas and some last minute decorations and maybe enjoying a wonderful snowy day with um, friends and your kids. Have a great day. Take care.